What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and if you're buying statues, please use the links below. That does help the channel. So I have a potential idea for the Transformer statue room. For the most part, I do consider my Transformer collection complete. You know, this is all my Transformers, my Transformers MK room, plus I got Turtles and G.I. Joe. But there are, you know, two Transformer pieces that I really want. I mean, in reality, three pieces. Uh, and there's a few ways I could potentially get them. Now, option one, I leave everything as is, which is hassle-free. I still love my collection and I enjoy it daily. Uh, but there are some pieces I do think would be worth the hassle of plan B and plan C. So option A, leave everything as is. Option B, we sell Optimus, Lockdown, and Drift. We move the OG team right from there to right there and do Queen Bumblebee bust in the corner. We display it without the back door because uh, that really makes it super deep. Uh, so we don't display the door. Looking at the base, I think it's probably about 20 inches. So if I don't display the back window, I could fit it there in the corner with the angle of the head and how big it is. It'd make a great corner piece going like Bumblebee bust, Bumblebee, Ironhide, Optimus, and those two. Basically, those two stay the same. Uh, then we would move Sentinel Prime right there, and where this Optimus is, hanging over to the right, uh, due to how big it will be, we get Jetwing Optimus Prime. So Jetwing, if you do, if you look at the comparison next to Shockwave, that piece is a Grail, no doubt in my mind. It's it looks nearly as good or as good as Shockwave, and to me, Shockwave is one of my most impressive statues. So that alone makes me want to just stop this, pause this video, and go pre-order Jetwing Optimus before it sells out. Uh, granted, it's a four thousand dollar piece. I mean, he cost me three grand, uh, but with inflation and whatnot, uh, the engineering is also probably a little bit more. On that piece but i really do want jet wing and i love queen bumblebee bust i'm a huge bumblebee fan i mean bumblebee and optimus are my two favorite from the transformers universe hell i bought a freaking like thirty four thousand dollar camaro i loved bumblebee so much so i want that bumblebee bus and it's supposed to be shipping next month so if i'm to like make this plan go into action i need to sell these three immediately to you know start funding uh, the Bumblebee bust, you know, so I'd keep Grimlock because uh, that, you know, is a very unique special statue. Plus, it'd still give me at least an Optimus in that form. Uh, but Transformers 3 is definitely my favorite movie. And Transformers 4 is my second favorite. And that's why I did collect, you know, these two movies. That's my sole focus. The other piece I would want is the Megatron from Dark Side of the Moon with the sand base. I really like that. Uh, I definitely like the sand base quite a bit, although it doesn't quite match, you know, like all the other bases, but I do love the overall look of that statue. I think it's amazing. Although I got to be honest, Megatron was kind of like a wimp in that movie. He was best in Transformers 1. That's when he was his toughest. And in Transformers 2, he was awesome all the way up until the end fight against Jet Power Optimus. But I would love to still get that, but I don't know if I could sell this Megatron. So that is kind of option B. Option C is we don't sell the Transformers, but we move them. And the only place I could truly move this would be right there. So I'd have to sell MK9 in this scenario. So this would only be the MK Classic room. Only MK Classic. No MK uh, Modern. I mean, I guess outside Melina Katana. Uh, but it'd be the MK Classic one fourth. We'd have to we'd move Baraka, sell Katana, Shao Kahn, Scorpion, and Sub Zero. Move. Optimus and Lockdown in the big display and probably just move Grimlock over there move these two here and maybe do something else right there uh, and probably just still sell Drift in this scenario uh, space wise I don't know I mean I could potentially just do Drift and keep Grimlock here that is uh, another option although Drift by himself he would not fill in that shelf I would need something to go with him so, I don't know, maybe Drift and Bruce Lee. Uh, but, you know, in that scenario, I would do that and then, you know, do the same plan above. The problem with that is 
this MK stuff would not yield nearly enough money to support this plan. You know, that MK9, I could maybe sell everything for, let me think real quick, 2,500 bucks if I'm lucky. 2,000 to $2,500. So I couldn't even fund Bumblebee Bust if I sold that entire line. Uh, where if I sell this line, you know, Optimus alone, I don't know his actual like going price right now. I know on eBay he shows for about five thousand. I would not charge that, of course. But there's thirteen watchers at five grand, you know, plus tax and whatnot. You know, it's quite pricey. Mine is mint condition, uh, so I don't know what the going price is. But I'm gonna assume, let's just say, three thousand dollars, which could fund Bumblebee Bust. And then if we sold Lockdown for, let's just say, you know, fifteen hundred or I mean, I gotta think how much I paid on lockdown and how much he goes for, but let's just say 1500 drift, 1000, you know, another 1500. It couldn't truly pay for all of Optimus, but I would just cover the rest through other sales. But it would definitely be a heck of a lot closer than the MK stuff. Now, MK, I would say it probably have more sentimental to me, like I like it more than Transformers, like the universe, but obviously statue-wise, Optimus alone is far more impressive than that entire line combined. And then when you add Lockdown and Drift, obviously if you're looking at just pure details and what looks cooler, Transformers is cooler. Uh, Transformers are some of the coolest statues out there. Uh, so, you know, there's definitely a pros and a cons to that. I mean, if anything, you sell MK, then you have to sell something else as well to, you know, fund this whole project. So it's definitely a tricky one, because uh, I am actually a huge fan of this Optimus Prime. I am not going to lie, huge, huge fan. I love it, especially in the fifth movie. They literally have this exact statue in the movie. Like, it's not a, the painted version. It's more like a bronze version, but they have this statue in the movie when they were at the castle. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so freaking cool. I feel like this is something you could just throw in like a pedestal in the middle of a room. It's so epic. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Lockdown and Drift. It's just an awesome samurai-looking Transformer, so that's just awesome by itself. So, definitely some things to consider uh, between those three plans. Uh, I definitely want that Jetwing Optimus, though. That thing is godlike, and I feel like I need to get it. You know, so, I really... Here, here's one problem with Jetwing Optimus. So, he did have... A cool moment in that form like about 15 seconds and it was epic but then he got tangled in cords and it was like what the fuck and then he finally got untangled and then he had an epic moment where he actually killed shockwave you know flying in he lost the wings and they're playing that music it's actually probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when he was killing shockwave and killing all the Decepticons and they're playing that music. Oh my gosh, that gives me tingles and goosebumps all over and I just freaking love it. You know, it's one of the reasons I love that movie so much. So that is another reason I do want Jetwing so much because it's the introduction to like my favorite scene in the whole movie. So I'm probably going to get it, you know, it's supposed to ship at the end of the year and I really do want it. Uh, and I really do want Bumblebee Bus because I'm a huge Bumblebee fan. I'm trying to get base dimensions because I think, I mean, I know I could fit Bumblebee Bus like there, but it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. I think the only way it could look good is having it in the corner and then having the entire line. If you have a random bust in the middle, it will look off. Like right now, everything is in scale and it looks good. So you need to have everything in scale and then you could have a bust in the corner, like a big bust. The head is actually angled this way. So I think the bus could work magnificent in that corner, you know, but it does need to be, I mean, if you look, you know, the door will not go any open to that. I could technically have the base hanging off at least to like right there. And then the shoulders could go in there and then Bumblebee right here, the statue, as long as I don't display the wings. So in essence, it would look like this, but you know, the like human life-sized version, no back wings you know this right here none of that which is fine because that looks still fine i mean it's a cool feature but it makes it too deep it makes it like 20 it's 
it's like 27 or no how big was it no it's like it's almost like 30 inches deep with those things it's way deep yeah i think it's like 27 to 30 inches that's just ridiculously deep you know it's like jupiter i mean i could fit it right here but i don't want to really put it there let me show you guys some quick photoshop uh of this and you tell me all right, so here is a quick mock-up of how it would look. So in essence, it'd be five statues, and I'd probably actually even move him slightly more to the right, you know, to give them a little bit more space because it's kind of tight right now. And then the jet wing, which is quite big, although his wing is one reason it's also so big, which could just go behind Sentinel, who would go right there. So I think that would look awesome, you know, because it's just as big as Shockwave height-wise, uh, and it would just look so impressive. Then, here's one quick mock-up I did, thinking of doing the Bumblebee bust there on the big shelf. But, you know, thinking about it, that bust would just probably be blocking part of Sentinel Prime. That's what I'm saying. You know, switch this side with that side, having Optimus and Bumblebee bust over there. I think that would work fine. So I think that could look really good. So, you know... I'm definitely really leaning towards this because I think Jetwing alone would be better than all three of those Transformer pieces combined. Then when you have Bumblebee bust on top of that, it's a no-brainer. So highly, highly considering it, but I wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions below, so leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.